Do you think space is silent? Well, it's not. In this video, I'll let you hear the sounds of the largest objects in the universe. They are real sounds captured by NASA and other space agencies, and trust me, they only get more terrifying as we go on. Let's begin! Picture the early universe, not the familiar stars and galaxies we see today, but a younger, wilder place. This was about 1.4 billion years after the Big Bang. Galaxies were still forming, and space was a lot more crowded than it is now. Somewhere out there, astronomers found something almost unbelievable. 14 giant galaxies all packed into the same region of space, and heading for each other. This isn't just a traffic jam, it's a cosmic pileup. Each galaxy in this cluster is about the size of the Milky Way, or bigger. Every one of them holds billions of stars, and possibly billions of planets. If you could stand nearby and look up, you wouldn't see an empty black sky. You'd see glowing galaxies stretching from horizon to horizon. The whole system is called Protocluster SPT-2349-56. A protocluster just means it's a baby galaxy cluster, but don't let the name fool you. Even in its early stages, this thing had the combined mass of about 10 trillion suns. Over time, all those galaxies will merge into one gigantic super galaxy, probably hundreds of times larger than the Milky Way. Finding something like this was a huge surprise for scientists. It's so big and so dense that it shouldn't have been able to form so early in the universe's history. But there it is, defying expectations. And thanks to NASA, we can actually hear what this monster merger sounds like when the data is turned into sound waves. It's like listening to the heartbeat of the early universe. I want to pause here for a second to tell you that I recently made a poll in the community tab of this channel to ask the question, what is the best way to listen to these sounds? Over 200 people voted in total darkness. You can try it out by pausing the video, turning off the lights, and continuing to watch this video all the way to the end. I think this will be an amazing experience for you. Now imagine taking the idea of galaxy collisions and scaling it up to the largest structures in the universe. Able 576 isn't just two galaxies bumping together, it's two galaxy clusters on a crash course. Each cluster has hundreds of galaxies inside it, plus huge clouds of superheated gas stretching for millions of light years. When they collide, the impact sends out shockwaves so big they could engulf our entire Milky Way dozens of times over. The real chaos isn't even the galaxies themselves. Most of them will pass right by each other without touching. The real action happens in the gas between them. That gas slams together at extreme speeds, heating up to tens of millions of degrees and glowing brightly in X-rays. NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory captured this event in stunning detail and turned the data into sound. Some collisions don't end in chaos. They create something strangely beautiful. Mayall's object, also called ARP 148, looks like a perfect cosmic bullseye floating in space. Here's how it happened. Two galaxies slammed together head on. The force of the impact sent ripples of gas and stars rushing outward, forming a massive ring shape. It's a bit like throwing a stone into a pond, except this pond is hundreds of thousands of light years wide. This ring is bursting with new star formation. Whenever gas clouds and galaxies crash into each other, they get squeezed, and that pressure triggers the birth of brand new stars. Miles object is practically glowing with stellar nurseries. It's about 500 million light years away from Earth, which means we're seeing it as it was before even the earliest dinosaurs walked the planet. And although the ring shape will eventually break apart? For now, it's frozen in time, a cosmic ripple from a collision long ago. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope captured its image and then converted the data into sound. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, might feel stable and eternal, but it's not standing still. Every single star you see in the night sky is moving, including our sun, and we're all headed toward a slow-motion collision with our nearest galactic neighbor, Andromeda. Right now, Andromeda is about 2.5 million light-years away. That sounds far, but in cosmic terms, it's basically next door. We're closing the gap at about 250,000 miles per hour, fast enough to get from Earth to the Moon in just over an hour. In about 5 billion years, the two galaxies will begin to merge. The night sky will look completely different. Andromeda will grow larger and brighter, stretching across the heavens like a glowing scar of stars. Over millions of years, the spiral shapes of both galaxies will twist and distort until they finally merge into one giant elliptical galaxy astronomers call Milkometa. Despite how dramatic it sounds, individual stars probably won't crash into each other. Space is just too empty, but their orbits will be scrambled, and the gravitational forces will fling some stars completely out of the galaxy. Our solar system might be tossed into a completely new location, 
Mission. NASA has simulated the entire event in breathtaking detail. And yes, they've also turned the data into sound, so you can hear the moment the two galaxies become one. Some collisions happen fast and leave scars you can see from millions of miles away. 1994, astronomers got front row seats to something extraordinary, the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 slamming into Jupiter. But it wasn't one big rock anymore. Jupiter's powerful gravity had ripped the comet apart into 21 pieces before the final impact. One by one, the fragments hit Jupiter's atmosphere, each releasing more energy than the largest nuclear bombs ever built. The biggest strike left a dark mark on Jupiter's clouds larger than the Earth itself. For days after, those scars stayed visible through telescopes, proof of just how violent the solar system can be. NASA's radio telescopes picked up Jupiter's own radio signals reacting to the impacts, and those signals were later converted into sound. Sometimes, the most destructive collisions happen around other stars, and we only notice because of the mess they leave behind. In 2021, NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope spotted a young star called HD 166191 surrounded by a fresh, massive cloud of dust. That dust didn't just appear out of nowhere, no, it was the result of two rocky planets or planet-sized bodies slamming into each other. The debris cloud was so big it actually passed in front of the star from our point of view, dimming its light for a short time. It's a cosmic crime scene, and the dust is the evidence. Collisions like this can completely erase planets from existence, reshaping solar systems before they even get a chance to settle down. Long before life ever appeared on Earth, our planet wasn't alone in its orbit around the Sun. Sharing the same path was another world, a planet about the size of Mars called Theia. One day, around 4.5 billion years ago, Theia's path and Earth's path crossed in the worst way possible. Theia slammed into Earth at a speed of about 24,000 miles per hour. The force was so great it melted rock blasted molten material into space and reshaped our planet. Much of Theia's material, left along with part of Earth's outer layers, was thrown into orbit, where it eventually came together to form the moon. That's right, the moon we see in the sky every night is the result of this single, colossal collision. Without the moon, Earth would be a very different place. Our tides would be weaker, our axis might wobble more, and life might never have evolved the same way. Scientists have recreated the impact in computer simulations, and by translating that energy into sound, you can get a sense in the audible range of just how planet-shattering it was. On the morning of June 30th, 1908, a massive explosion ripped through the skies over Siberia. An object, likely a space rock about 160 feet wide, entered Earth's atmosphere and detonated in the air. The blast was so powerful it flattened 80 million trees across 800 square miles. People hundreds of miles away felt the shockwave, and instruments as far as Europe recorded it. The energy released was equal to about 185 Hiroshima bombs, and the shockwave circled the planet twice. Scientists have taken historical data from seismic stations, and turned it into a recreation of what the blast might have sounded like. February 15, 2013. Just after sunrise over the city of Chelyabinsk, Russia, people noticed a bright flash in the sky. At first, it looked like the sun reflecting off something. But within seconds, the truth came crashing down. A space rock about 66 feet across entered Earth's atmosphere at nearly 40,000 miles per hour. The heat and pressure caused it to explode in mid-air with a force equivalent to 30 Hiroshima bombs. The flash was brighter than the sun, and the shockwave shattered windows in over 7,000 buildings. More than 1,500 people were injured, mostly from flying glass. Dash cams all over the city captured the event in stunning detail. And unlike Tunguska, we have actual audio from the explosion, the deep rumble and sudden crack as the shockwave hit. <laughs> Not all big collisions happen naturally, and some are man-made. On February 10, 2009, two satellites, Iridium-33, an active U.S. communications satellite, and Cosmos-2251, a defunct Russian military satellite, smashed into each other over Siberia. They were traveling at a relative speed of about 26,000 miles per hour when they collided. The crash shattered both satellites into more than a thousand large pieces of debris, plus countless smaller fragments. This debris cloud now circles Earth, posing a risk to other satellites and even the International Space Station. Scientists worry about a chain reaction called the Kessler Syndrome, where each collision creates more debris, leading to even more collisions. Radar tracking systems around the world detected the debris, and those pings have been turned into an eerie but fascinating sound.
Now please let me and our community know what you think of these sounds in the comments below.